What's good, boys? Currently, Madden 23 is seeing a massive shift in the meta, so I wanted to do a breakdown on what I would argue is the best zone-beating playbook. Not just play, not just formation, but the best zone-beating playbook in the game. I do think we are going toward a zone meta, especially with some of the AP changes, uh, and just not, not necessarily even AP changes, but also just getting players that have the ability to get short and elite for zero AP. We're having we're seeing a lot more man-beating uh, abilities come into the game, and as a result, it's making man a lot harder to be in uh, long term. However, defensively, they're also kind of pushing us to a zone meta because of the deep out zone KO abilities being so discounted. And so, with that in mind, I wanted to give you what I would argue with anyone is one of the better zone-beating uh, formations in the game. And also, I'm going to give you what I would argue is the best bomb against zone coverage uh, in this game as well. We're going to be going over some stuff out of the bunch. If you guys want to get my full uh, Washington Offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. Uh, the Washington Offensive ebook is really effective, especially against zone coverage. And so, uh, again, it can it can beat man no problem. And it also has one of the best man-beating formations in the game in the gun tight. We give you both of those along with the gun bunch open tight end out of Washington. So if you want to check that out again, the link is in the description. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to put a fast dude or someone that we like to ag with in the slot. We're going to put our best route runner uh, on the outside. For, in this case, it would be Chris Gowan. And then we have our backside dude, whoever we want. Uh, you know what? Just for fun, we're going to put Mike Evans over here. Okay? So the play is clear out FLN. And this is a cover four bomb, a cover three bomb, and a cover two bomb. And we're going to show you how this can bomb every zone in the game. Now, this can be man-to-man. -man, okay? So just real quick, if you are seeing man-to-man, -man, you want to try to focus in on this corner route. You want to have short and elite on this guy so that this guy on the corner route can get open. Now, at this point in the game, it's pretty easy to get short and elite and slot apprentice for 2 AP or even 1 AP. Um, so you should be able to get this stack pretty easily. Um, if you're in regs, the Bucks are the best, uh, best team to use this scheme with. Um, if you don't want to use the Bucks, just use a team that has wide receiver apprentice or slot apprentice and you're going to be fine. So, you know, that's not too big of an ask in terms of regs. Slot Apprentice is a pretty common ability across the board. Now, that being said, let's show you how. So that's that's the primary way that you're going to beat man. Now, on the left side, we're also going to use this other receiver as a man-beating receiver. We can do a couple things with him. One of the things we can do um, if we have outside Apprentice or Hot Route Master is we can put him on a C route and try to get really good separation. We know how good the C route is this year. As you can see, um, it's able to cook man a lot of the time. Another thing that we can do if we want to uh, be a little safer or we don't have that ability is we can just put him on a drag and typically he'll be a nice check down. Now, he's not going to beat it for 80 yards, but he will be open for 5, 10 yards as a simple check down route that we can have. If they're going to use that corner, then we can just throw our drag for about 4 to 5 yards. Okay. So that's the man-beating portion of the video, and again, this isn't a primary man-beater. This is primarily the best zone beater in the game. So the first coverage that I want to show you how to beat is cover four, because I do think that cover four, you are going to see a lot more people in because of how well it does against corner routes. So what you're going to see here is this route to Mike Evans. Uh, basically, once he gets even, you're going to freeform this up and outside, and as you can see, this beats cover four drop for a one play score. Let me show you that route combo uh, or that, that concept again. So again, if they're in cover four drop, a lot of people like to base align. That's going to actually make this worse. Um, what you're going to see is even if they base align this play, um, you know, as soon as he gets even with that safety, you're just going to freeform that outside. That safety is going to turn inward to try to go guard the tight end, and he's going to be wide open. Now, cover three, I do think, is a little bit better, uh, just in terms of how this plays, uh, this this coverage. Um, this actually traditionally is one of the best cover three bombs uh, or beaters in the game. Uh, and there's two ways that we can use this to beat cover three. The first way is the slot. Um, again, you're just going to put him right. You're going to freeform that up into the open space. Now, you do need to be a little careful with this specific throw. Uh, in my opinion, you just need to be a little bit careful. Uh, let me move this safety over here so he's in a little better position. And what you'll see here is sometimes this safety, if you're not careful, he will drift to the middle. 
Um, but you really want to freeform that up because you see that right there can happen, and that's where you got to be a little careful against cover three uh, specifically. So what you can do um, if they're going to run a lot of cover three, and they have this guy you know over here and he's in a good spot to be able to handle that that seam streak, then the route that you want to look at is the tight end. Um, now typically what will happen is most people are going to be setting zone drops or they're not going to have hook curls on the field. If they do have hook curl, I'll show you what happens. Um, but what you'll see is you're just going to freeform that inside, click on and make a catch. And as you can see, this is going to be a massive uh, cover three beater as well. Now another little underrated piece of this tip is that the corner route will be wide open if it is cover three. So if it's cover three, uh, the corner route is super open. You can take that right there. Um, another thing about the cover three real quick, and again, a lot of this has to do with the grid system uh, that Madden is kind of based on, even though they've tried to quote unquote change that in the years. Um, if you watch this corner route, when that safety is over there, um, you see here, he actually played that okay. Um, now, what you can do with that, and this is uh, honestly kind of changed a little bit since the most recent patch, uh, and I'll show you the hook curl thing in just a second. But what you can do with that is, again, it is a little bit of a read. So you're looking. If they bite down on the corner, then you can freeform over the top. So you see here, just wait on this, freeform up top. You see how he kind of split the difference there pretty well. So that means I need to wait on it a little bit more. Now the last piece of this for a cover three perspective is the match concepts that are in some cover threes. Uh, I'm going to shift down to 335 wide to show this as best as possible. And what you'll see is this uh, this hook curl a lot of times will match the tight end if there's no one coming underneath. So you see right here, it actually didn't match it at all right there. You'll see if the third comes from the bunch or from the solo receiver side, it's going to play a little differently. Uh, so that's something else that you need, need to kind of pay attention to, I think. Uh, but let me show you this one more time against cover three, and then we'll show you how to bomb, how to use this play to uh, pretty much obliterate cover two. But there is a little bit of a nuance to it. So what you'll see here, this hook curl from the safety should match the tight end. I don't know why he's not matching him. But you will see late in the play, this thing comes open over the top. You also have the tight end wide open as well. But just know that the, a hook curl could potentially match that player. And then the last thing I want to show you is cover two uh, from his own perspective. So cover two is actually, ironically, probably the best coverage when you're on the left hash mark. Now this bomb is very hash mark dependent. You want to be to the wide side. If you're facing cover four and and I think cover three as well, when you're facing cover two, you'll see here that he's going to get double teamed um, <coughs> over the over the middle like that. That's because we're on this hash mark. However, if we if we are on the short side of the field, and this is something that is also in U trips as well, this glitchy fade route is one of the best routes in the game uh, to the short side of the field, uh, especially against cover two, because what you'll see is if there's something to pull, uh, this is actually more so uh, has to do with the tight end. So you'll see here, I'll just put Goblin on a flat. I don't have to even put him on a corner. But what you'll notice is the safety will turn his hips inside and it leaves this massive window open uh, to the outside just like that. Now you can find this, like I said, in other formations as well, like U-trips. These glitchy fades are really, really powerful against cover two, uh, specifically to the short side. So if you're, you know, if you're facing cover two, as soon as that safety turns his hips inside, that is going to be wide open. This also just so happens to be one of the best match beaters in the game as well. And so really the best way to defend this play is actually to utilize man-to-man -man with some key zones around it, um, potentially out of like cover three or something like that. However, most people are going to be in the zone. Um, and if you need to beat man, of course, there's all kinds of other things that we can do from this formation to beat man. So as we shift to a little bit more of a zone coverage meta, I wanted to do a video today, like I said, that taught... What I, th what I think is one of the better zone beaters in the entire game. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of all the stuff that we have in our Washington Offensive eBook. And if you want to get access to that, all you got to do is sign up for our Patreon. I released this eBook, I think, two months ago now. And we've continued to update it as well as the game continues to change. So make sure that you're in our Patreon. It's only $10. You'll get access to all uh, 16 of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks as well as the, any new ebooks that we release. We're working on one right now to release tomorrow. 
and any um, of the updates as well. So make sure you're in there. And if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.